Hey guys, I want to step you through a little profiling exercise that I ran into today uh, about how I diagnosed a memory issue and how I fixed it, or at least figured out how I would fix it. So on our website for the company I work at, uh, we have this thing where we lazy load people as you scroll down uh, just to optimize the initial page render speed. But our entire site is a single page application. And I sort of figured that there was an issue uh, with unbinding some events somewhere in our application. So I just started poking at it. And the people page uh, was one of the first pages that I landed on to test. So what I did to test it was I first opened up a incognito window with no profile in Chrome Canary and opened up my timeline profiler. And typically what I do is I'll come up with a set of actions that I want to repeat and assume that there should be no listener growth or DOM node growth. So I said, okay, when I land on the people page and I go to this approach page and I go back to the people page, there should be no new nodes allocated. It should essentially be a zero cost operation. So no new nodes and no new listeners. So how did I test that? Well, here I am in my profiler. So I have the timeline open here and I'm going to force a garbage collection just to start and I'm going to hit the record button and the record is going to profile my memory over time. So I'm going to hit the record button and just press the garbage collector button one more time. Uh, and then I'm on this page, so I'm going to say, go to the menu, go to the people page, go to the approach page, and then go back to the people page. Okay. From here, I'm going to force another garbage collection to force and zero out all my data. I'm going to stop my profiler. So this will take all the data that I got and it will graph it for me. Um, so when this loads, so here is our profiler. And the part that I want you to pay attention to is right down here. So it looks like we start out with uh, 12, or 1,200 nodes. And then when we're done here, we end up with like 2,000 nodes. So this seems pretty wrong. And you can see where we forced the garbage collection right here. Uh, we lost a couple nodes, but our listeners and our nodes didn't really go down. So that's pretty bad. So that is like an 800 node ca node increase and, in, you know, 50, 60, 20 or so listeners. Um, so over time, if someone's been a long time on the site going back and forth, back and forth, you could see how this could get problematic memory-wise. So the next thing that I do when I reach this point is I say, okay, now let's identify what are these nodes that have been allocated. So I'll go into my profile screen here and I'll take a heap snapshot. And this takes just a snapshot of the current memory footprint of my uh, page. So I'm gonna go back here and repeat my action. So I'm gonna go to approach and I'm going back to people. Uh, and then I'm gonna take another snapshot. And just to be clear, every time I take a snapshot, it's going to force a garbage collection. So it should be a clean snapshot. So here's the snapshot. and. I want to go under this menu right here and go objects allocated between snapshot one and two. And what this will show me is the objects that were created or allocated in between the two snapshots, which is exactly what we want to see. And so we see that we have, this is our object count here, and this is the distance to the window. Um, we see that we have 145 div elements, 51 LIs, a bunch of anchors, a bunch of headings. And normally this isn't the worst thing, but uh, if we expand the nodes here, uh, let's go down, we'll actually eventually see some of these red ones, which are detached nodes, which are essentially uh, elements that are kept in memory due to them being in the memory cycle, uh, but they're no longer in the DOM. And for us, we know that this is a bad thing. So from here, I'd say, well, I don't know what's causing this. Um, but I know that I'm using this lazy load thing, but our, our stack here isn't super helpful. We're seeing it's being held on to data priv. And just because I know a little bit about jQuery, I know data priv is an internal jQuery hash for events. Um, so I say, okay, some event is still bound here. Uh, so my initial hypothesis was that the people, this lazy load plugin, this jQuery lazy load was not unbinding properly. So how did I test this? Well, I went into Inspector here. I went into my, my sources and let's find where we do the lazy load. So I'll just do a search for lazy load here 
and we see that lazy load is getting set right here on line 267. So how about we comment out this line, uh, and I'll save this file, which should force a, a recompile and it's dynamically injected into the JavaScript namespace, which is cool. Uh, so I don't actually have to edit a file on my disk. And then what I'll do is I'll rerun my timeline profile. So now we're going to see, do I have a similar node growth here? Uh, so just to be clear, it's like an 800 node growth before we clear it out. Okay, so I force another garbage collection. I start the recording, just force one more GC just to be sure. I'm on the people page. Let's go back to the approach. And now let's go into the people page again. All right. Now we see that none of the images loaded here because we commented out that line of code. So let's force a GC and then stop our profiler. So it's going to load our events again uh, and then spit out a graph for us. All right, so it looks like here is where we force that garbage collection. Um, sometimes we get these results. Uh, so it looks like we, we were at like 2,400 and then when we're done, we're at 2,900. So that's a 600 node growth. So that's a little bit better. So let's go in and do our snapshot one more time. I'll take one snapshot here. And then I will do our action one more time. And let's look at what changed. So we're down to 43 divs and pretty much nothing else. So the difference there is pretty dramatic. So if we go back between one and two, uh, you can see that before we had 51 images, 145 divs. So we know that one of the issues, there's several issues on this page still, but one of the issues was jQuery lazy load. So from there, I said, okay, why is this happening with jQuery lazy load? Well, probably because I'm never removing my event listener. But I want to see if jQuery lazy load actually has a way to unbind. So I go to jQuery lazy load, and let's look at the source code here for lazy load. And let's just see how they're setting up these event listeners. And I know .on is one, so it looks like they're listening to this event appear which is triggered on the original image. And then I know that there's a resize, so they're listening to resize, and then there's a dom.ready. So it looks like there's quite a few events here that it'd be nice if I was able to just call off on. Um, but because they're not taking advantage of jQuery namespaces uh, for their event API, it looks like there's no off or like unbind. Nope. So there is actually no way for me to unbind this. So what this means is I'll probably have to fork this library and open a pull request back in to add this functionality, but it seems like it's a pretty important thing. Well, hopefully this helped you guys uh, see my process for finding memory leaks, and let me know if uh, this helped or not. All right, thanks.